Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a tag video. I love doing tag videos. I was tagged by my fellow YouTuber, Hello Catwalk City, or Hannah. She is absolutely lovely. If you haven't checked her out, she has the voice of an angel. She really does, so make sure to check her video out as well. But I was tagged to share five luxury items in my collection that I have not been loving lately. These are just items that I either haven't been reaching for or I really don't like to use for whatever reason and I will get into all the details. Two items I am actually considering selling as well. So when I share those items, if you guys are interested, feel free to comment down below or message me on Instagram. I will leave my handle down below. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get into my five luxury items that I have not been loving. Okay, I am going to start with a pair of shoes. So I have one pair of shoes and then I have four handbags because let's face it, I know you guys love to hear about the handbags. So let's get the shoes out of the way. These are a pair of shoes that I had wanted for a long time. I saw them. They were absolutely beautiful. But when I say they are not comfortable, it's an understatement. And I am talking about these beautiful Dior slides. First off, I had been wanting these for so long because they are so pretty. You guys know how much I love turquoise. Well, I am wearing turquoise today. These just were so beautiful. So let me tell you why they made the list. Number one, they were so incredibly pricey. If you guys know me, I typically don't invest money in designer shoes because there's a lot of wear and tear and I would just rather invest my money in handbags that can last for years. Shoes, of course, can last for years, but you eventually have to replace the soles and they can get nicked and dinged and there's just a lot more wear and tear with shoes. Well, these were really, really pricey, number one. Number two, they are super colorful. I do love colorful items, but this is really hard to accessorize with. So a lot of times I'll wear it with either just a white dress or I'll wear it with a black dress and it does pair nicely. But the main reason I am including them is because they are so uncomfortable. This sole right here has no cushion whatsoever. So if I wear them for even just a little bit, they're super uncomfortable on my feet. And another thing that really bothers me, I think I've worn these twice look at the soles. Do you think, do you see how beat up these soles are already? I mean, I paid a lot of money for these shoes and I know that your soles are going to get beat up, but I just did not expect them to get beat up so quickly. Plus I do have wider feet and these shoes are very narrow. So keep that in mind. So I did order a 38.5, which is an eight and a half. I typically wear an eight and these are still a little small in the sense where my like feet are kind of like coming off the back a little bit. So again, we can't deny the fact that these shoes are beautiful. I love them. I actually even purchased some bracelets to match. I will insert a picture of that as well or insert a clip. So I was so excited about these. I really thought I was going to wear them more, but I wanted to include them in today's video because they're just not comfortable. So even if I do have an outfit that these will go with, I kind of look at them. I'm like, oh, I don't want to wear this on my feet. And the main part that's uncomfortable, like I said, is the sole here. It's really not much cushion. Now, I am not sure about the other Dior slides. I know there are a lot of other different styles of Dior slides, and those could be super comfortable, but I'm just talking about these. But they sure are pretty, aren't they? They sure are beautiful, but you guys, I'm just not loving them because their comfort level is Okay, now let's get into the handbags. And you guys, I think I am gonna have some handbags in here that may surprise you. So if you guys disagree with me, I, I completely respect your opinion, but let me just explain. So the next item on my list is by YSL. YSL is one of my favorite brands. It is the Saint Laurent Lulu bag in the medium size. So this is another one of those bags that I'm just not reaching for, but one of the main reasons it's really, really bulky. I think I had mentioned that to you, that when I do wear it over my shoulder, 
like so it's just really really bulky and I am definitely more of a crossbody type of girl and even if you wear this bag crossbody it is super bulky plus to open it you open it up like this and it does have this center compartment down the middle and I always mention to you guys I wish this center compartment was not there if it wasn't there you could just easily throw your things now can you still fit a lot yes you can I've done a ton of videos on this however I just kind of wish that part was there but the main reason is I'm just not reaching for it I have so many black bags in my collection and a lot of a lot of times if I'm gonna be casual I'll reach for my black pochette Matisse and the imprint leather if I want something dressier at work I will reach for my envelope bag which I absolutely love so I just find that this is just sitting on my shelf so with that being said this is a bag that I am considering selling. I think I had actually mentioned it in my vlog sale video. So I do plan on selling it for less than retail. It is in immaculate condition. I actually still even have the little blue plastic on this. So this bag has rarely been used. I've worn it a couple of times and I will insert some clips of me wearing it. So it is a great bag, you know, it is puffy, but one of the main things for me is it just sits there and I never find an occasion where I'm going to reach for it because there are other bags that I reach for instead. Now, if I didn't own those other bags, would I reach for it? I probably would, but that's not my reality. My reality is I do own those other bags and when I'm casual, I can't keep myself away from the Pochette Matisse. I absolutely love it. And for work, I just, that envelope bag looks so nice when you go to work because it's perfectly structured and clean. And again, I know so many people love this bag, but I just am not reaching for it, which is why it's on the list. Okay, I have another bag that's on the list and this is another one that I'm considering selling. So if you guys are interested, reach out to me as well. And it is this little Burberry, it's actually called a, a phone case, but I use it as a crossbody bag and I do like it, but my issue with this because of the Burberry print, I only reach for it like with certain outfits. So if I'm wearing like red pants or if I'm wearing a very basic outfit I will reach for this but the back of it it has four credit card slots and I find it very difficult to get your cards in and out of without scratching the leather so that's the first thing the second thing it does have this little strap this strap in my opinion is useless and it just gets in the way so if I'm wearing the bag and I need to reach in and get my phone or anything this is just kind of a pain so I kind of wish this wasn't there and then the next thing um, it does fit my phone it would fit my phone in a card holder but that's pretty much about it. So I know it is marketed as a phone holder, but I just don't reach for it. That's another reason. Again, the major the majority of the reasons I'm picking these bags, um, other than like the shoes not being comfortable, is I'm just not reaching for them. So if I were to reach for a Burberry bag, a lot of times I will reach for my uh, Hobo, my Nova Check Hobo bag. Um, I love that print. And so I just don't find myself really reaching for this one over that one. So I do consider selling this as well. So if you're interested, you can uh, either comment down below or you can message me on Instagram. Okay, the next bag, I might get a little bit of controversy with this. I'm not sure. I actually think, I'm going to be honest with you, I might get a little controversy with the next two bags, but I'm so sorry. This next bag, uh, spoiler alert, I actually featured it in my least functional bag video which I'm so sorry but it's just the truth and it's this bag right here this is the Lady Dior now let me caveat this by saying the Lady Dior is absolutely stunning I mean Princess Diana made this bag famous it is so beautiful will I ever sell this no so let me get that out of the way I will never sell this this is an iconic bag however it is really really heavy number one Number two, these handles are really heavy. So mainly when I wear it, it would be like on, it would be like on the crook of my arm. I don't typically wear bags on the crook of my arm. I like to either wear them as a crossbody or over the shoulder. This bag can get really, really heavy. Plus it can get like, it's kind of difficult to get into in the sense where I put my stuff in there and I find myself 
scratching this leather so it's lambskin and it's really really delicate so because I do have long nails I find myself always scratching it plus this particular version it comes with like a really thin strap the the newer bags come with a little bit of a thicker strap so I feel like when I wear this it's just I feel like it's gonna break it hasn't and I don't think it will but I just don't feel like it's very sturdy I do love wearing this with a pencil skirt I've mentioned that before I like wearing it with a blouse tucked into a pencil skirt I like wearing this to work but like even now it has nothing in it and I'm holding it and it's very very heavy um, so this is another bag that I just found myself I haven't been reaching for it uh, if I do go to work lately I've been reaching for my YSL envelope bag because I just think that looks really nice because it is so structured. I have con contemplated getting either getting another Lady Dior in a different size, one that I could wear crossbody, um, but the only issue with that, I know the newer ones do have that flap, so I always wonder if that would be kind of a nuisance to get in and out of. You'll have to tell me, but I do want to say before I put this bag away, you cannot deny the beauty. This is one of the most gorgeous bags. I just personally, for me, it's not functional, mainly because you carry it with, at the top handle and it's really heavy and the lambskin is very delicate. Now this is an older version. I did get this years ago. It was one of my first designer handbags. So I don't believe I will ever sell it, but it's just, I just have not been reaching for it. Okay, this next bag, this is the, the final bag I'm gonna mention, and this is a doozy. You might get some negative feedback on this but this is just my opinion and this is a bag that I've had in my collection forever but I just never reached for it. Will I ever sell it? No, I will never sell it but the bag I'm talking about is the Speedy in the Damier Aben. This is the Speedy 35. This bag was my first ever Louis Vuitton purchase. My first ever Louis Vuitton. I think I've mentioned to you guys I paid $700 for this bag and it has since more than doubled in price with all of the price increases. But I kind of wish that when I purchased this bag I would have gotten the bandolier version but I don't even know if the bandolier version existed in this size when I bought it because I bought it more than 10 years ago. I could be wrong, but I don't think it did, and I really wanted this large size. Now, one of the main reasons that I don't reach for it is because it is a top handle bag, and you do carry it on the crook of your arm. Now, so many people love this. Now, I think if I did have a strap, I might wear it a little more, but then, you know what? Even if I did have a strap, I don't know if I would wear it as much because it is so large. I feel like if I got another Speedy, like a Speedy B, Speedy, Ban Speedy Bandle, I might get either like the 25 or the 30 something is just a little smaller this is the 35 so it is pretty large now I do let me show you the interior I do have a Zumoni organizer in it as you can see so this bag is in immaculate con condition I really really try to take care of my bags but again because there's not a strap to this and because you mainly carry it top handle I just don't gravitate towards it and it can also have a tendency to get a little heavy um, this is another bag that I don't have anything in other than the organizer and it does already feel a little heavy so I find that I like to be hands-free you can carry it on the crook of your arm but I would just if I were going out I would prefer to get one of my other bags that has like a crossbody or a strap but like I said I have actually considered getting a speedy in a smaller size with the bandolier version you guys know I do own this beautiful speedy 20 right here and I use this all the time because look how small it is compared to this one and it does have a strap so I really think if I had a strap for this or if it was one size smaller I would use it a lot more but it's another bag that I definitely don't plan on selling it is very sentimental to me because it was my very first Louis Vuitton purchase and I saved for it it's just very very special to me and you know, whenever I look at this bag, I remember going into the boutique, I remember buying it, I remember that feeling I had, I would leave it in the box, and I didn't even use it for a while, so it's, it is a great bag, a lot of people love it, but I'm just not reaching for it. 
Okay guys, there you have it. Those were the five luxury items in my collection that I'm just not reaching for. Let me know your thoughts if you guys own any of these bags. Do you agree with my assessment? Do you disagree? And if you disagree, it's totally okay. I love having these conversations here. Thank you so much to the lovely Hello Catwalk City for tagging me to this video. And I am also gonna tag some lovely ladies down below to do this video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Which means